why was uh, Brian Kilberger near the vicinity or at the location of the Idaho Four students murdered the night of the murder? Why was Brian Kilberger there? What was Brian Kilberger doing there? We got the Queen of Cups investigating something, right? You know, like. Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords. So it, it also, you know, if we apply it to what we already, you know, what the situation is, I should say, then he could have been dropping his burdens and, you know, betraying somebody because of his feelings being hurt. Let me see what else. The Eight of Cups wanted to come out. Four of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and a Strength. The Ace of Wands wanted to come out. Two of Pentacles. I'm confused. Eight of Swords. We got the Queen of Swords. I'm still feeling like there was definitely a call to this person. So let's say that's true, allegedly, that he was called by somebody to come over because they told him something was going down and they possibly needed his help. Okay, so he goes there, figuring out what's going on. What is we have to clarify, obviously. But I feel like he was confused when he got there. I don't know if he walked in on a fight or it was just a chaotic scene. Lot of Queen of Cups here, but it definitely is this implementing of a plan. Definitely is, you know, planning to go to battle. I guess that's how many seven. That's three sevens. Seven Pentacles, seven of Wands, and seven of Cups. You know, trying to figure out what's the best angle to complete his task. Like he was there to help somebody or it could have been ease to ease his hurting feelings for lack of better time tell me more the queen of fucking wands give me one more for the queen of cups the lovers okay ten of wands ten of wands right here the will of fortune so this could have been the point of taking action again this could have been planned I believe again with somebody else or at the behest of somebody else. Okay, so this was ending something. The Knight of Pentacles. Mm. Knight of Three of Swords. The Devil. It feels like somebody got him involved in some shit. Eight of Cups. I'm confused. The Fool. Yeah, like led blindly into something. Why the four pinnacles? <coughs> so the four pinnacles is the hangman, the six of wands, and the five of swords. Led somebody blindly into some bullshit. Set somebody up, allegedly. Talk somebody into helping you to set up a narrative. Why the Knight of Swords? I hate to say this. I hate to say it. I know it's uncomfortable for people. Um, but I can't just go along or say the opposite of what I'm seeing just because it makes people comfortable. I'm trying to get the truth. So the Knight of Swords is the Ten of Swords. Tell me more. It's the 
Ten of Pentacles, like I said. Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. This is like talking about an exchange or this could just be over money, period. Or family. The Will of Forge, I mean the um, Chariot. So I don't know if he's supposed to be picking somebody up. I'm confused. But then they changed their mind or something. Why the strength card? Why the strength card? Four of Pentacles. The death card. The high priestess. Yeah, he kept leaving and coming back. The Two of Pentacles is the world and the Two of Pentacles kept leaving and coming back. Okay, we know that. But why? Why the Eight of Swords? What's the confusion? The King of Wands? What's the confusion? It could just be Ethan that threw him out because he wasn't supposed to be there. But again, then we got the Six of Pentacles. Why the Queen of Swords? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Ten of Wands. So maybe somebody called him there <clears throat> to help, and he refused to, but he still got set up somehow. A lot of five of wands, so a lot of five of wands. The king of swords, <coughs> ace of wands, a lot of four of wands. Or this could just literally be de de detailing um, what happened. So he came in. Allegedly, Seven of Wands and did the Lovers first, Ethan and Xana. Then he did the Queen of Wands next. Um, if this is a victim, if this Queen of Wands is representing a victim, then I feel like this could be another one of the girls, maybe Maddie. And then he was about to leave and maybe seeing Kaylee or it could be in a different order. Like leaving out the bedroom or wherever, wherever Kaylee or Maddie was done. Um, then the other one came in, or he seen the other one, or the other one became aware, and then that person was done. But I don't think that's what it's saying. It could be in part. Let's ask why he was driving back and forth and all of that. The truth, please and thank you, no rumors. No stories, no speculation, just the truth, please and thank you. Why was Brian Koberger driving around the house constantly, trying to park, failing, going around in a circle, coming back to the scene of the crime at nine in the morning? Why was Brian Koberger the truth? Why was he going back and forth and coming back to the scene? the crime scene. Why was Brian Clover coming back to the crime scene and driving around in circles and back and forth? Hierophant in the Five of Pentacles. Either this is saying that that wasn't him, allegedly, or I know we got the, the, the damn records and all of that. I know that, but this is what I'm getting. Or he was lost. So I don't know if he was pulling up other addresses on there, but what the fuck? Um, we did get the damn cherry because I was wondering, and I know that allegedly, law enforcement allegedly um, interviewed whatever stores dropped off the food because somebody made a good point that in small towns, typically those services like DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates don't operate that late, like four in the morning. You know what I mean? So... If that's true, then it probably wasn't Brian, um, unless, you know, there is some service that if not drops, don't drop food off, they maybe still give rides. And um, also, it's it'd be interesting, but I guess they got receipts, so I don't know. Because I know I used to travel for work, and it would be extremely hard to use Uber Eats or Postmates or any, but this was, you know, maybe five, I would say maybe three, four years ago. 
and it I couldn't you know everything was closed early as hell so and that could be a reason why those towns have those grub trucks and stuff like that because it's convenient and they can make money um, in the untapped market pertaining to that time so we have two fives here changes this is being left out in the code um, I'm trying to understand what the hierophant is meaning here of course this is how it has been our teacher card that's how I knew that Brian was a teacher in some way shape or form this is also like law paperwork um, let me see this also could be just like a, a third party energy as far as like any disputes for instance if these two people were having a dispute this person would be the neutral person I keep blanking on the word that would best describe what I'm saying but a mediator a mediator it's like mediator energy so it could be the police I got this in my hand um, that's where I left off from shopping so but then the five of pentacles you know that's lack lack of money that's being left out in the cold that could even be lost wandering around let's see tell me more about why Brian was there on the night of the murder of the fool and the hermit so again it could just be him like being low-key and watching them the hermit is about again that could be wisdom like teacher energy that could be um, independent and isolation it could be wise okay so this could be gaining some type of intel the fool card is you know nonchalant type of energy it also gives me like exploring energy leap of faith energy new beginning um, so let's see I'm confused <laughs> the high priestess so I don't know if he you know maybe a part of it and you know he could be a part of it in any way we can look at it every different way but another way that he could possibly be a part of this is that he was watching with the fool the hermit and the high priestess that's knowing so he could have known about this and he was watching i'm confused but let's see what else that's just you know basic energy that you know just trying to explain okay nine of wands in the page of cups so this is wounded warrior energy this is being guarded this could be you know him this could show him being tired the five of pentacles and the nine of wands could show him being exhausted after doing what he's alleged of doing the page of cups here is like messages it is um, even apologies it, it's a page so it's young energy as well now let's see what else with the high priestess and the nine of wands together, it makes me feel like somebody's weary of something as well. So the next card is the sun card. Things coming out um, to light and also with it paired up to the page of cups there. Again, it's this new energy, this bright, exhilarating energy. So tell me more. Six of swords. top and the two of wands on bottom okay and then we have the queen of pentacles ten of pentacles and the king of swords so this could also be like we, we the question is why did he keep coming back and forth he could have been watching to see if law enforcement was there right he could have been trying to see all right so but let's get into it so the queen of pentacles the ten of swords and the king of swords yeah, he was, uh, you know, he could have been trying to see if law enforcement had came and why they hadn't come. So this again could have been him going back to the house, cleaning up, healing his, you know, hiding his wounds with bandages or whatever the case is, and then coming back to see, you know, maybe he was listening on his skin or, or whatever like some people or watching the news like some people speculated that it's possible Hierophant why are you here? The Ace of Wands wanted to come out but it didn't why are you here Hierophant? Four of Wands so yeah he could have been trying to see why the police wasn't there High Priestess Why was that a pinnacle?
So again, this lack energy all of a sudden pumps up to a nine of pentacles. So it's almost like sudden wealth type of energy. And then we also have the seven of pentacles. So um, so again, he could have been hiding stuff. He could have been by himself. Again, the nine of pentacles has a little bird here. Sometimes that's my little birdie, you know, here in the air. And maybe that's why he was over there because he actually, he's into this crime stuff. So let's just say, you know, as in um, another theory that he's into everything that we think about Brian Koberger is right. Um, that he's into, you know, law and crime and um, forensics and all of that. And he has a police scanner because that's a part of his interest. Maybe he heard it on the scanner and he wanted to see what was going on. And then he realized that maybe they had the address wrong or some shit because I don't see nothing. And then he drives around trying to see this thing that came in on the, you know? So that's one theory I'm kind of getting. So I don't know if somebody said that, but that's kind of far reaching, but it's possible, I guess, as possible as any other things that we came up with. So I don't have the pinnacles. Okay, I guess that's it for the five of pinnacles. Why the fool card? Why the fool card? It's the Empress. And so again, the fool card is about new. It make me think about, feel about the sun, maybe because of all the yellow. The Empress has so, and all these cards have so much yellow. I don't know if that is significant in this at all, but the Empress, new beginnings, you know, Empress is new, it's fertility, it's babies. Um, that might not be the case here, but give me more of that fool. Like the Empress was in trouble, okay? The Empress was in trouble with the tower. Or doing something for the Empress, whatever you want to call it. The Nine of Swords is going to come in reverse. So somebody, a damsel in, in distress. A damsel in distress. So why the Hermit is the world and the Ace of Wands. This could be a secret physical relationship. Four Pentacles. So he could have been there very well to see, interact, allegedly unalive the people. But it's giving me, even if that's the story, if Brian Kohlberger is guilty and he did everything and he is everything that we said he was. I feel strongly that there's somebody else involved here. Why the high priestess? Why the high priestess? We got the magician and the judgment. Sun card. So it could just be to see if police was there. Dude, I feel like somebody was in distress and called for help. That's just what I'm, <clears throat> excuse me. That's what I'm getting, man. Page of Cups and a Death Card. Ace of Pentacles. Dude. It could just be an opportunity that he took advantage of, or again, it was a trap. What a sun card. Swords. I feel like somebody called somebody to help them. The Queen of Wands called the damn King of Wands. Maybe he felt obligated because of, look at this shit, because I don't know if she pregnant y'all or was or what the fuck. I'm so confused. I, I would be happy to know the truth eventually, right? I will be happy to know the truth. What Brian, when Brian starts speaking, then maybe that'll fill in some blanks. Because I keep getting a pregnant person, a woman. I keep getting a relationship. Um, and 
It could just be an age difference, or it could be family. It could be family. Like, I don't know, y'all. Probably to the source. It's like, I don't know. Uh, so, let's see, let's see. Will the phone records, the tower pings, etc., against Brian Koberger uh, be found to be legitimate and accurate? Let me get these damn cards up. Hold on. Okay. Will all the phone records cell phone tower pings, etc., that they have against Brian Koberger in regards to the item of four murders. Uh, will these hold up in court? Will they be found to be accurate and concise? Will these hold up against the defense? Four wands on the four wands is here. Let's see. That will be a yes so far. Then we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so why the four of wands or if the, cell, the phone data and the cell phone tower pings, etc., against Brian Covert will be hold up. Justice and the four of wands, eight of swords. Hmm. So this could be the defense arguing it, of course, as the Knight of Swords, but it was looking good. But there is some inconsistencies, I guess, with the Eight of Swords, or yeah, there could be some inconsistencies here. Maybe this data can be applied a different way. And where as to where it doesn't look as stable as or concrete as it seems. So why the Knight of Swords? Why the Knight of Swords? The Five of Swords. And the Star. One more. Hangman and the Queen of Cups. Mm. So they may be trying to argue and to get, argue to get it thrown out or something like that, or that might be the thing that has you know the the jury or somebody here may you know be going back and forth on the accuracy or the strength of that particular evidence. Why the fool? Six of Cups. Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So, yeah, it looked like um, it looked like overall so far that it will prevail. But I do see, you know, obviously the defense is going to take a look at it and try to poke holes in it. Why the Hierophant? Why the Hierophant? The King of Cups. Oops. And what is this? The Queen of Swords. Oh shit. So that's under the Hierophant, which I said is like the judge a bit. It's like court proceedings, it's like court documents. The King of Cups is, you know, kind of holding back and the Queen of Swords is definitely cutting things off. Um, or it could be saying that it's clean and cut. That's clean and cut evidence that we don't need to look at anymore. Three of Wands here. So it could be some type of ruling on that part. Aside from the case of Lucy, then the Three of Cups is celebration, obviously. Two of Pentacles, so. Two of Cups, one more. Six of Swords. Or, of course, there is some type of way to explain why it was. Alright, so Seven of Wands is the Nine of Swords, which is that stress energy, uphill battle. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So, this could definitely obviously work to somebody's favor but we do have
how stressed and we're asking if it will hold up. So the final card is four of pentacles and then that's clarified by the ace of cups. Anything else? Seven of pentacles. Anything else? Queen of wands. Ten of swords on top and the seven of swords on bottom. <sighs> This seat, especially with the two of pentacles showing up twice, it's just so back and forth, back and forth. It's like nothing is set in stone. And I'm almost willing to bet if I do moonology, that shit will come out. Um, so maybe parts of it, like some of it is you can explain to a certain extent, and then they be like, okay, but then why this? You know what I mean? So. Well, let's say in the next court appearance, in the next court appearance, how will things go for the defense for Brian Koberger? How will things go for Brian Koberger in the next hearing for the Idaho Four Students? Oops. Five of Pentacles. So, not good. Not good. Ten of Swords. So, then we got the Queen of Wands. So, I don't, that could be his lawyer or somebody else here. Um, so, Five of Pentacles is, I mean, well, you know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Because, you know, Five of Pentacles could be ghosting, could be, you know, cut out. The Ten of Swords could be an ending. The Queen of Wands, you know, that is action, that's beauty, that's passion, and all of that. So, let's see. Then we got. The King of Pentacles. Then we got the Chariot. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles on top. And the Hangman. Hmm. So maybe things could be kind of put on pause or... Maybe because of money in some way, shape, or form. Um, but then we, we have this positive moving forward and give and take. So he could be cooperating to some degree, whether it's just answering some of the big questions against his actions and or evidence here, right? But let's clarify and get more into this. Because this is an interesting question, um, or at least the cards that's coming out for the question are interesting. So what type of battle pinnacle is this? So What's the outcome of the next court date for Brian Cooper? So it's changed. It could be changed. The date could be changed. Four swords. That's that resting. That's that healing. Ten of swords. Whoa. So I don't. <laughs> so I'm asking the outcome for him, and I'm not able to completely see just yet if this is a positive ending for him. I guess it would just come out plain positive, right? Or if this is negative. So the Ten of Swords twice overkill. Like maybe he's overly done. Maybe you need to go sit his ass down. Or is this a, a physical ending? Because Five of Pentacles is tangible. What the hell? So why the Ten of Swords twice? Five of Cups. So this could just be his overall energy of damn. Like I don't got no answers to none of this because They got me, you know? So tell me more about the Ten of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles. We got the King and the Queen of Pentacles here. Hmm. He could be switching lawyers. That could be it. Because it's a Queen of Wands and then a Queen of Pentacles. So I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Why the Queen of Wands? We got the Six of Wands. Tell me more. The Page of Cups. So there could be some type of positive message here from this Queen of Wands. Or again, this could just be Brian just conceding that he's been got. Why the King of Pentacles? Why the King of Pentacles, the lovers? Like I said, the King and the Queen of Pentacles is here. 
So he could be exposing. I'm not getting exposing energy. I'm getting ending. But it could be exposing a connection or a relationship here. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles, please. We got the chariot. So this, it could be a cancer, but this could be some type of communication or some type of answer for, you know, what has been revealed, dealing with his driving and his route and him being there. It could be something could be explained with the vehicle or something. Or he could just be like done because of, I, I know I'm like saying the covering all the bases down there, what this could be. You know what I mean? But that's just key how it's showing up. I feel like this energy definitely represents the energy of this case where things are very uncertain and it's very back and forth, you know? Why the chariot twice right next to each other? Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Maybe he's saying that he was not. Maybe he's just claiming that that's not his vehicle that they got on camera. Maybe there's, I don't, I don't. Also, when I read this paperwork, y'all, I seen it on Truth and Transparency's um, page. I just discovered that channel like a week ago. And I feel like she is really good at what she does. Nobody's perfect. But I feel like she covers, you know, digs up facts more so than jumping onto the first rumor that pops up. You know what I mean? I feel like she tries to look at things from both point of views. So she did again have paperwork that was saying that they were saying it was somebody else named Dylan as well. Or maybe it was referring to that, the Dylan. But I think it was because we remember when it first came out, they were saying it was multiple arrests and Dylan was one of the names that popped up. So I don't know if it's, a, like I was saying in the other reading, it could be mistaken identity because they were saying it was somebody named Dylan. But then all of a sudden it was Brian Koberger and they, maybe they resembled each other. Or but that makes fucking sense. But this also could just be, this is just speculation. It might be a whole different scenario fitting perfectly. But it's like, yeah, because it's too, look. This one, this chariot, and then right next to it, the first thing is this chariot. Okay, it's here with the lovers, it's here with the king and the queen of pentacles over this way. But right under this chariot, to clarify, and you know, the next chariot is the eight of swords and the five of swords. There is somebody's intentionally trying to warp the situation or make it confusing. So it feels like doppelganger energy, like, why the six of pentacles? So again, something could be paused or canceled. Um, the Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. So he may be offering Six of Pentacles an explanation for this. So I'm going to clarify one more time because I'm still not certain about the Five of Pentacles, both of these Ten of Swords, the Five of Cups, Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. That's the first half. Then it's separated by the Queen of Wands. Then it goes over from the King of Pentacles to Cherry and the Six of Pentacles. That's how I'm seeing it. Hangman on top, King of Swords on the bottom. All right, let's clarify. Tell me about the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles energy, Five of Cups, Four of Swords. What is this? What is this? Things from the dark to the light. He revealing some shit, allegedly. He revealing some shit, whether that's just on his own behalf of I got explanations for this, or if it's, hey, it's some shit that's going on that y'all not aware of. And I'm not going down by myself, allegedly, so we'll see. Tell me, what's that, what else? Temptation, the devil, attachments, things holding you back. Yeah, recognition and reward. Tell me more. So we got this one, authority, and then this one, sacrifice. Hmm. So 
again, it could be conceding to, man, y'all get me. But also, it could be I sacrificed myself doing some shit that I wouldn't do for somebody else. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Authority. So I guess that would technically be for the chariot energy. I don't, you know, he was a teacher's assistant, so I don't know if he was even getting paid for that. In previous readings, we said that he did a lot of different jobs, which allegedly is true. We've seen a lot of people say he worked security, teacher's assistant, um, a few other things as well, right? So maybe he was delivering paperwork, papers or paperwork. That would kind of explain that route. But it also would explain him being there, you know what I mean? So. I'd be interested to see. Very much interested to see. Let me see. Let me see. Final card. One more card. So we got three, four, five. One more card. Final card is solitude. Make me. She got this book. That's the hermit energy as well, right? But, okay, so it could be definitely bringing stuff to the light. We got a throat chakra, so we got to be speaking about something. Y'all confused. Y'all got the wrong guy or mistaken identity or some shit like that. But look, it's victory and success in the crown chakra again after that light. Yeah, so he's revealing some shit, but firm foundation on the back, rest and rejuvenate, and then patience. So again, it could be a little while. We know, I believe she said the 12th. And that's probably like Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. Towards the end of the next week. So the ninth or the nine here. We might hear more information on the ninth. It could just be rumors or some shit. But it's here with the Ace of Swords. So, but I feel like he's clearing it up. So yeah, with this book, it makes me feel like some type of records. Because I know he won tutoring nobody. Um, at 4 o'clock in the damn morning. Morning. And I don't know if that was a weekend, a Friday, or the actual weekend. I'm not sure what day the 13th was on in November. But, I don't know. Let's see. One more uh, with the Moonology. What's the outcome of the next... Uh, trial date for Brian Colberger for Brian Colberger. Then we're going to look at the prosecution side. Uh, work through your fears. So he could be looking super tired and stuff like that. Your commitment is being tested. See, he did something for somebody allegedly. Just take time to breathe out. A win win outcome that's forecast. So, this could just be like I said, this Six of Pentacles is both sides getting what they want in some capacity the prosecution and the defense. So, they could be working out something. This Ace of Swords could, could be admitting that he did this, right? It's a win win outcome. But, you know, and again, it could be him just accepting this and then the police getting what they want for it, you know. But also, I'm not sure. A win-win outcome is forecast. This is for his outcome. Let's look at prosecution. So, like, it almost made me feel like as well, like, court could be put off or it could happen sooner. It's a change in the date based off of what is talked about between the defense and the prosecution or whomever. Um, so, I don't know if that's possible or not, but that's kind of what I'm getting. All right, final question. The next court date, how will it go for the state, the prosecution, as it pertains to Brian Koberger and the allegations towards him for the murder of the Idaho Four students? What will the what would the next court date look like for prosecution against Brian Koberger and his defense team? Let's 
the next date going to look like? The next court date for law enforcement and a prosecution. What does this look like? We got seven of cups. Let's choose wisely. That's options. Nine of cups. Temperance. So they could be agitated about something here. But also, let's see, what's this? The sun card. So they could be feeling good. They got some type of decision. They may be at a crossroads about something. But this also could be looking at, um, you know, adding in more evidence or just taking a look at evidence or it could be even evidence that they didn't get to see for some reason or you know just taking a second look at evidence the next card is six of swords knight of cups anything else the three of swords Four of Pentacles on top, Six of Pentacles on bottom. So it's kind of picking up from off of Brian's reading, right? So let's clarify. All right, so, hmm. So for Brian's reading, it, it was real heavy, and then it ended up being more lighter. Equal balance, give and take. On law enforcement, it looks pretty good, and then it kind of ends up with the Three of Swords. So let's see. Why the Seven of Cups for how it's going to go for prosecution and law enforcement on the next court date against Brian Koberger, Three of Swords. So they may be having to pick their battle. Or again, like I said, the Seven of Cups could indicate um, evidence, right? So they could be feeling heartbroken um, about something that just kind of didn't pan out. More about the Seven of Cups. We got the High Priestess. Hmm. You know, with this Nine of Cups and this Temperance here as well, they could be getting frustrated about people questioning them or their work, you know? Hmm. I'm not sure. Give me one more. So we'll have to look at the rest to get to see, understand this one. Yeah, see, it's like looking back at something. Why the Nine of Cups? Seven of Wands. So they could be very defensive. Temperance again. And then the Knight of Pentacles. Look at my all messed up Knight of Pentacles. I'm going to have to retire this deck. <laughs> this is like these both of these decks are my very first decks. And I had this for a year before I used it. Then I got this shortly after I started using it. So these are my two favorite. The regular you know, so they pretty beat up. Okay. So again, the Knight of Pentacles for me is observing something. It's frustration with both of these temperance here. Temperance is also about patience and second chances, but they could also just be irritated because, you know, again, people are questioning them and wanting more information, you know. So why temperance twice? Why the temperance twice? We got the star. And the Empress. So I don't know if it's something with the star witness here. Or now they're looking closer at some female here. But again, it could just be going through stuff again. Fine tooth comb. Why the sun? We got the chariot. What else? Maybe they feel like they got a bad tip or something. They got the Knight of Swords. So they could be saying something else about this car or just about moving forward here and some type of decision. What's the decision that they want to talk about them making or needing to make the Nine of Cups? Holding stuff back, holding stuff back maybe. Or it could be some good news, wish fulfillment. Seven of Swords. They could be going in on people with allegations um, or speculation or rumors so they could be tightening down on that. But I just really feel like it's just something here that they are now investigating or they may have to again choose wisely what they you know something just didn't is not no longer adding up something that was a nine of cups is no longer a nine of cups by the six of swords the sun card two of wands so it could be some type of halt to the and I, I guess we'll still call it an investigation 
Seven of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, one to be in reverse. More for the Nine of Cups, Five of Swords. And then why the Three of Swords twice to end and begin? The Devil in reverse. Maybe they have to let go of some stuff because you know the Devil is about tying things down, addictions, etc. Um, let's see, look at that shit. And the Three of Swords is this energy. Monology. Oh, let's do this the first and then monology, like we did that one. So again, what's the outcome of the next court case for law enforcement and prosecution as it pertains to the Idaho four students unaliving and Brian Kohlberger's charges? What does the end of the court date look like for them on the next court date? Prosecution, law enforcement, Brian Kohlberger Tower. So transformation with movement choices and decisions. So there might be a change of direction or it could be something else they're looking at. This could have been more things style like rings and money and it's a plant. Like I said, it could something not a weapon allegedly. And I kept seeing keys. So I don't know if the keys is something to unlock somewhere where the weapon will be or if it's in like some type of box that has keys to it and it's buried. I don't know. Something I feel like it's locked up but also buried. It could be somewhere near plants. And then we have this um, rest and rejuvenate. So again, maybe somebody just not feeling good in the case or on the case as well. And, but again, they might be stepping back to reevaluate. Anything else? Material prosperity. See, something about money, I don't know. Mm, could be family. Could be telling people to leave people family alone. All right, final clarification. When I crack the deck, the answers you need are coming. So we might get some information soonish. I almost feel like we might get a little bit of something before the next court date, but it could just be rumors and speculation, right? Because there is a gag order. Let's see. They could even be addressing some rumors. It's time to take action. They actually came in reverse, but I don't really like to read these in reverse because they got words and pictures. But that could also be that Queen of Wands, but it, it's a, yeah, it's Aries. And then this one conclusions out within reach. Four more tips. And then we have luck is on your side. And then we have prosperity lies ahead. Um, anything else? Anything else? What do you need to release? You and your loved ones are safe. So again, it could be, you know, leave people parents alone, bring love to the situation. And that's funny because love begins ended up on top with memories of love. I was on the bottom of this one. Sacrifice and choose wisely. Hmm. All right, let y'all see that. Okay. Let me do Soul's Dragon too because this is like, what? I keep getting this energy. And I know I ain't seen nobody else get this energy. So I'm just like. Maybe I'm too rebellious. And I just I, I instantly, I don't know, maybe it's something else. Yeah. Yeah. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So again, it's that lack energy. Maybe somebody passes away. Maybe it's kind of not really, you know. But then next, we got denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the inside awareness. Insight of awareness, denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Make me feel like somebody lost something, or something just ain't what it, it you know appears to be. Indecision. This came up before for the police and prosecutors. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Indecision, though. Indecision. You know, this could even be speaking about, oh, well, he said that he was just lost and he was doing this and delivering that. I don't know. Okay, let's see what else. Because, well, anyway, what else? Anything else? 
You got adversity. That's the same energy. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn and love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So it could be said, we is not perfect. People make mistakes. And, you know, we're going to continue to do our job. I have faith that we will get this right. Give us a chance, okay? Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings and service. I feel good when I can help others. So it might be the complete opposite, child. They might be saying, you know, we know we got the God. We know you got your doubts. Let us do our job. Let the prosecution and, you know, the courts do their job. And, you know, be patient. That, that could be what they're saying. So that's what I got. Later.